With Season of the Deep, a lot of the weapons weren't that exciting, but there was one I was really looking forward to craft. And that weapon is none other than Until It's Return. This is going to be a Strand Rapid Fire Shotgun, and it can do some pretty interesting things. Now, pellet shotguns in the current meta are not the strongest thing, and they honestly haven't been for a while. You're pretty much always going to be better off running a slug shotgun or even a fusion rifle in most scenarios. But as you did see from the thumbnail, I am deeming this as the fifth horseman because this pretty Pretty much is going to be a legendary fourth horseman and i would argue that the fourth horseman is one of the good pellet frame shotguns right now now for including legend of acrius in this obviously that's going to be on there as well but that is a heavy weapon i want to focus more on specials but let's take a look at some of the perks it can get and go over what you want to run in pve you have things like threat detector which is a great option on a shotgun all loading holster and overflow is probably going to be my best in slot you also have things like vorpal which is really good surround it's also a great option cascade point is a newer perk that is a very fun option what we're going to talk about a lot in today's video you have trench bro on the shotgun as well which has always been a great perk and even collective action you can make work in certain specific builds so there's a bunch of different combinations you can go with this you can just take vorpal for a purely consistent shotgun just to do more damage which is nice even things like trench bro if you want to play into it auto loading is also a great option you can shoot all your shots swap off it'll reload swap back to it and things like threat detector and surrounded are very strong paired together because you're always going to be near combatants because you're running a shotgun however i think the best setup for this shotgun is definitely going to be overflow and cascade point this is what's going to give you that fourth horseman feel and let's just take a look at what it can do So as you saw from that clip, the fire rate on this shotgun is just absurd with Cascade Point proc. Now, if you don't know the way Cascade Point works, you're going to get increased weapon fire rate every single time you get a final blow with another weapon or have sustained precision hits with that other weapon as well. Since this is more so a weapon to take out majors to do some extra damage to a boss, this is really nice because you're always going to be getting primary kills to then swap to this weapon to take out majors or in a boss fight, you'll hit a lot of precision hits with a heavy weapon, and then you can swap to this and unlock Cascade Point as well. Cascade Point on its own is already really good on a ton of weapons, but once you pair that with a rapid fire frame shotgun, it turns it into a whole new beast. To my knowledge, the only other shotgun that can actually roll with Cascade Point is the Aikilo shotgun, which is also a rapid fire frame shotgun, but the Aikilo shotgun doesn't have the benefit of having the perk overflow. Now, if you don't know the way overflow works, essentially whenever you pick up a special brick, it's going to reload your weapon and when this reload occurs it can just give you an absurd amount of ammo in your gun this is going to pair extremely nice with cascade point so you can have that bigger magazine so you can get as much benefit out of cascade point as possible because you have enough ammo to unload onto whatever target you're shooting at overflow also does work in the background just like cascade point as well so if you're killing enemies with a primary weapon picking special up you're going to be reloading that gun and you don't even have to have it out and also in the background procking cascade point so whenever you're ready to swap to it you have an absurdly large magazine with an absurdly fast fire rate now as a fun little fact this is not the first shotgun that can roll with overflow if you remember the python way back in the day that was the first one that could actually get it now speaking of overflow as a tip what you want to do is make sure you have a magazine increasing perk because since this is going to be based on whatever your current magazine size is the higher that you can get the higher overflow will work tactical mag is going to be your best in slot option because you will still actually get stats and anything higher than tactical mag say something like extended mag won't actually provide any more and eight is going to be the max you can get to so with an eight mag magazine and enhanced overflow you're going to be able to receive 18 rounds in this shotgun on its own and if you're curious what enhanced cascade point did you essentially just get a very very small amount of extra time for the perk to be active that is going to be nice since you do have a ton of shots you can fire out every single time a new shotgun comes out nothing really stands out too much and that also does have to factor in with them not being curling the meta like i was talking about in the beginning of the video but when i saw this one i knew i had to give it a shot and i honestly don't regret any amount of time that i put into leveling this gun up and even making the perks enhanced it is something super fun and super unique and not really any other gun in the game can do what this can do if pellet shotguns were to ever receive a buff i really think this one's going to be at the top of the list and the craziest part about all that is that this weapon still has room to improve i know that is crazy but there is honestly two very essential ways that this shotgun could get even better even if they don't 
buff shotguns. First off is the fact that the origin trait on this weapon is not that good. You essentially have to have no abilities to get things to work, and I don't like the trait at all on any of the weapons, but on this, it is doing virtually nothing for you in PvE. Imagine if it had something like the Neomuna origin trait where you could shoot the little mini rockets out, this thing could just do even more damage. So if they ever release another shotgun like this, they can roll with these perks. If it has a better origin trait, it's just gonna be better. The other really, really main one is the fact that this is a strand shotgun. If you don't know the way it works, kinetic weapons inherently do more damage than energy weapons in this game. And since this is strand, it does technically go in your first slot, which means it could be kinetic and kinetic special weapons inherently do 15% more damage than say the strand one right here so with 15 percent more damage a better origin trait that could provide even more damage or just ease of use for the weapon and at some point if they ever start to become meta with a buff or anything of the sort this thing is going to be very very strong i could be wrong and please correct me in the comments if i am but i don't think any rapid fire frame shotgun can actually roll with assault mag because if it can do that i would definitely recommend taking that to get the fire rate up a little bit more but I think sticking to a magazine-based perk with overflow is going to be better because, again, I don't think Assault Mag can even roll on rapid fire frame shotguns. Now, if you were curious on how to farm this, this is a seasonal weapon, so do your deep dives, get your tier 7 chest, even salvage can drop stuff as well. If you've completed some of your season of deep challenges, make sure you're buying your red border every week if you do want to craft it. If you don't want to craft it and just get a roll for it, you can do that too, but obviously, if you want to craft it, be sure to get all that done and farm as many tier 7s as you can. But all right, I think that's going to do it all for the until it's return the only other thing i could have talked about is the fact that it's flavor text is the day will come and that is just really cool on its own but even with the flavor text and the name being awesome it does also have some really cool perks to back it up i just really hope in the future we get a shotgun similar to this that has a better origin trait and is actually a kinetic weapon i really hope we also do see a pellet shotgun buff in the future because i would love to use this thing more because it is extremely fun and like i already said and even in the thumbnail it pretty much just a legendary fourth horseman except it also just does have a 18 round mag where fourth horseman only has five with the catalyst but anyway that's going through it all for me let me know what y'all think about the style of content i want to start switching things up a little bit instead of just posting builds all the time but don't worry more builds are still to come but i hope you all can enjoy every single bit of content that i put out on the channel and if y'all didn't enjoy and learn anything new consider subscribing and dropping a like however i just want you to know that watching the video means way more than enough and just that every single bit of support from you all is truly appreciated thank you all so much for watching and have a great day Peace.